Why do we keep pouring money into these defense budgets and endless wars? And by the way, the other piece of the money puzzle is the accountability piece. Congress is supposed to be voting and giving authorization um, on use of military force. And it has become across Democratic and Republican administrations now the case that Congress isn't even consulted. We have, we, you know, we saw the Republicans use, but so did Obama, um, the 2001 authorization of use of military force that we've been trying to repeal uh, for a very long time. So, I mean, this is, this is a big, big problem. And I, I get up every year and I have, you know, a series of amendments around nuclear, you know, reduction of nuclear, cutting the nuclear budget, cutting the Pentagon budget. I'm always on the floor speaking about it. And the Republicans get up and say, oh, she doesn't care about national security. And I say, don't separate the national security relationship to how people in our country can live. We have people, the highest number of people in poverty, the highest number of people without uh, you know, health care. We have people who don't get education. So don't tell me that we're going to put all this money into defense contractors and cut it from education, from transportation, from housing, from all the things that people need to really have security. That is our biggest national security threat is the lack of domestic spending on the things that people really need.